so this is my third day of kind of like cutting out caffeine and stuff in my life. Typically, I think have caffeine like on average three times a day, which we made up of two coffees and one pre-workout. And it's got to a point where I was just like, eh, I feel like doing it. I feel like trying to break it out. I'm not a fan of sparkling water. And ever since I've cut out coffee, like sparkling water is the only thing that's kind of like bringing joy into my life from a beverage. So if you all have any suggestions of other drink alternatives, other than sparkling water that are just really nice, healthy, would be great. Uh, let me know. So I've got something pretty exciting planned for today, something that I've been wanting to do for such a long time, and that is going to a pottery class, like a ceramics class. The reason I want to go is, one, I've always had this idea in my head that I will be good at it. <laughs> With zero, zero experience, I'm not good at like arts and craft or anything like that, but for some reason in my head, I think I'll be good at it. The reason why I've been so excited to go is that, well, pretty much for my brand that I'm launching, it's not just clothing, it's homeware and lifestyle stuff as well. And one of the things that I really wanted to create was a candle. And this is just gonna give me a little bit of like an idea of, I don't know how to make it and just, I don't know, it just it gives me a little bit of an idea behind it because I would ideally like to create the candle myself. And then obviously after that, have it made multiple times, not me making each individual one. But if this goes horribly wrong, then that probably won't happen. So as much as I like this outfit right now, obviously you will know I'm a big fan of these Bodhi shorts. Wearing them to a pottery class is probably not the smartest idea because I've heard it gets quite messy. So I need to kind of put together something that I don't really mind getting messy or if it does get messy, comes out easy and yeah. So I'm gonna go with the Pengaya Cargos. These are that cotton linen blend. And we are sitting around 28 degrees today, so it's not too bad for it. And then for the t-shirt, I know it just looks like I'm just putting on another white t-shirt, but I like those cost t-shirts, so I'm putting on, this is a Champions one that I thrifted a while back. It's quite cheap and it's very like, I just don't mind if something happens to it. I'm just gonna tuck that in. I mean, this outfit is nothing like, crazy or anything like that. I just need shoes. And the best shoes I can think of are my Givenchy slides. They're rubber, so anything should pretty much just clean off them. And they could probably do with a clean now as well, but I'll wait till after pottery. I'm gonna take my leather bag to hold my essentials and it can be a nice little accessory. And then uh, I'll probably just add a hat for a pop of color. Huh, I actually really like that. Again, nice, simple outfit, but I don't mind if these items really get messy other than the bag. And there we have, can you see the hat in? This place isn't the biggest, but that's the outfit that I'm going to wear.
maybe on the other wall now. Just because like it's so close to the curtain then. It's just because it's above your head is always a risky thing. It just like it's so cold and modern in a way that just doesn't go with the rest of it. I just think it's not what we want. So the plan was to hang this up there as you saw and it's it's just it's not what we thought it would look like uh, we picked this up from Wayfair and the idea of it is very cool it just doesn't in our opinion work in this apartment it just reminds me of like a hanging lantern so we're gonna return this if you have any suggestions of like a type of lamp hanging lamp that could go there let me know but this yeah this just wasn't it So these are two books that I really recommend if you want to get some like home inspo, you know, some home decor or, you know, interior design inspo. Now, one of them is called Softer Volumes and it's just a bunch of really pretty much nice cafes from kind of all over the world in this really nice, again, as the title kind of says, soft minimalism, just beautiful, beautiful cafes and interior design. And what I really like about this one is it gives me a good idea of kind of like colors and tones and that kind of like minimal look that I like. So it gives me some good inspo when it comes to like decorating my home or my girlfriend's place and gives me ideas for like future stuff that I would like to do. And then if you team this up with this new one as well that I've picked up, which is called Small Homes Grand Living. This one is great because the reality is, is well, not the reality, but I guess if you live in London or New York, places like that, very big, busy cities, you're not going to get the biggest place. And what this one kind of just gives me inspo on is how you could design a home to really utilize every part of it, whether that be like literally here, like storage under the stairs, things like that. Now, obviously, this one is more to do with if you are kind of like refurbishing or decorating your own place that you own. Uh, but there's also just plenty of good ideas in here to give you ideas for like what you could do with shelving and everything like that and just again to really utilize your space that you have and it categorizes it really nicely into like bedroom, living room, hallway which I really like. So I find myself just like flicking through both of them all the time just seeing what kind of like stands out to me in that moment. I don't actually sit there and read each little page like that. I don't. I literally flick through, something stands out to me, I look into it, then I might read a little bit about it, might move on, I might even take a photo of it. But yeah, so if you're looking for some home, like interior design, I really recommend these two books. I'll um, link them below. And yeah, that's just a little bit of where I get some inspo from.